Hi friends, welcome to your weekly Motivational Moments with Eric Vickery, President of Coaching at All Star Dental Academy. Today and this week, I want our focus to be the 95-5 rule. Now, some of you, when I say 95-5, you go, oh, I love that, I do that, I'm on top of it. Others of you go, 95-5, I thought it was 80-20. So the 95-5 rule is simply an exaggerated ratio that I created to help us emphasize our focus on what? What are we selling, condition or treatment? And if we all remember that S word sell, we don't like that. So we don't like pressure sales. We don't want to be in a push sales tactic. We want to be in a pull purchase process. And that means finding out what the patient wants are, which we're going to get to soon, especially talking about their their why, the reason why. But in the meantime, instead of telling people what they need, we're going to help them understand what's going on conditionally and diagnostically so they can move forward. So the 95-5 rule is saying, hey, if we're going to be accused of selling something, let's be accused and guilty of selling the condition, the diagnosis, really emphasizing what's going on with their mouth. So 95% of the time, your focus, your energy, your communication is built around the condition and the consequences of that condition, which I'll come back to. And then only 5% of the time is it treatment. Now, remember, if you don't like pressure sales, you want to listen and pay attention for the 5% when it shows up. Oftentimes, it sounds like this. You need a crown. We don't like living there. We don't want to be pressure sales people. So avoid using sentences like that. Instead, when we use the 95.5, we get the patient to understand the condition and the consequence of that. We do that through, we mentioned questions earlier, and we do that through overhear psychology, which we're going to talk about next week. And we do that through getting the patient to co-diagnose with you, intraoral photos. Now we've got AI technology that can be the second opinion right in the office. You've got digital scans. The technology is there. The verbiage has to accompany it. So when I use the 95-5 rule, I'm going to make sure the patient understands we eliminate the killer words like we talked about a few weeks back and we make sure the patient understands what i'm vividly describing to them so as you call out information or as you point out information on the on the on the intro photos or the scan or what the ai is showing you make sure that they're deciphering what it is you mean and they also understand what's coming the consequence of that. There's only two consequences we deal with in dentistry. So uh, infection or gum disease, that leads to what? Tooth loss. And decay, cavities, that leads to what? Some of you said root canals. <laughs> That's a treatment. <laughs> uh, the, the decay leads to toothache. So our two consequences are toothache or tooth loss. So as we use the 95-5 rule, that line in between there, we're going to say, here's the condition, right? This is infection in your gums. It's leading to tooth loss, that line. How concerned are you with this? Asking a question. How? Like we worked on last week. How concerned are you with this? Really concerned. Would it make sense then for us to review a plan and how we can help you take care of this? Yes. Two yeses. Moves the line out of the way. And now we're allowed to talk about the 5%. Now, the key here on the 5% is then don't just go, great, we're going to do four quads of scaling root planning. <laughs> they don't understand what that means. You need to patiently and carefully describe what the treatment is and then label it. Don't label it and then try to describe the treatment. For example, don't say, all right, well, we're going to do four crowns on the right side. You would say, so what we're going to do on each one of those teeth is we're going to make sure you're numb and comfortable. We're going to remove all decay. We're going to make sure we move all of the fracture lines. We're going to make sure we move all the old metal filling. And then instead of having a wedged puzzle piece metal filling in there, we're now going to have uh, interlocked like a Lego, um, fiber to fiber between tooth and filling material, right? White filling material now interlocked with, with your tooth. And it's like a Lego, not a puzzle piece. We're going to connect all the pieces inside of the tooth. And then we're going to put a protective co covering on the outside of it so nothing can break apart. You ever see a Lego fall apart after you put it all together? We're going to make sure it stays solid. That's called a crown buildup and a crown. And that's what we're going to do to save your tooth. And then you ask the question, how? How do you feel about moving forward with this plan? So 
This is your verbal skill for the week. We're habit stacking every single week. If you've lost track on some things in the past, go back and work on those things. If you want more of this, you want more coaching, just email us, eric at allstardentalacademy.com. Be happy to give you a, a Zoom meeting to review all of these things. Get one of our coaches who are amazing at this uh, to work with you and help you figure out how to implement this in your practice. All right, guys, make it a great week. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Dental All-Stars. Visit us online at allstardentalacademy.com.